Uh, Shalom, Akim, Brother Raza Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true teachers of Yasha Allah, that's Hebrew, for Israel. And blessings unto the sincere Akim, run of four winds, waiting to be delivered by our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai in these last coming days, man. Or these last minutes of Babylon the Great. Just another quick upload and rebuttal video that I've seen on um, the Manavala channel for a quick um, two minute segment of a Sar nigger video or Sar Netta as brothers commonly known him as of some so called Hebrew group out there teaching this hell doctrine once again man you know spewing that filthy communication out of their mouths man the Lord told you know permitted men not to do man or well, his men anyway, man. These these nigglets, I don't know who they are, man. They look like a bunch of, you know, charlatans and ISUBK rejects. You know, that are basically, you know, probably doing it for some cheerleading and trying to make some um, filthy lucre, man. Because that's what a lot of these guys out here do, man. You know, sheep's, the wolves in sheep's clothing that the Lord warned us about. You know, these are those the, the type, of, type of guys, man. You can see from their persona, wearing shades and all, and all black. You're inside a damn building. Why you need to be wearing shades? I do not know, but you know these clowns are doing that, and um, to try to push this hell doctrine of, you know, there's a section in the spirit realm where you're gonna be burning and get t tortured, man, which is madness, man. You know, and that's that's that hell doctrine is all, basically that's that's a money making machine, man. Because even going back into the dark ages, they used that as a money a tool of making money, man, extorting the peoples. To, and it's a it's a money making movement basically and even in the scriptures you can it's, um you can um identify that man and brothers was discoursing about this the other week man funny enough through the spirit about this so called hell doctrine man and basically it goes back to this um, um uh, making money man and I'll just go through the scriptures real quick or one or two scriptures and then and close out Lord willing brothers be edified man the floor is playing up at the moment, taking long to load. Lord willing, we'll just get through it, man. Don't want to make this video too long or too short. Um, this is um, from the scripture of um, Luke 6 and then 24. The points in 24 I'll start from 23. It says, Rejoice ye in the day, in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your um, reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did the fathers unto the prophets. It's a point, uh, is it just the point? It says, um, But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Talking about who? The sellouts, man, because the Lord said to lay up your treasures not on earth, but in heaven, man. You know, that was the main main point, man. And um, when you look up that word rich here in the Greek, Just try and load it up. The Greek word there, G1, G4145, is plosios, plusios, which means wealthy, abounding in material resources, metaphor abounding, abundantly supplied, abounding, rich in Christian virtues and in eternal possessions. So that it goes back to that, um, you know pagan worship man which they, they mingled you know paganism with the scriptures which incorporated that hell doctrine even going back into the, into the dark ages back into you know times of Constantine the Nisan council and all that man you know, and after that man you know they, they pushed that hell doctrine hard during the dark ages why because it was a part of um, a gains of making money off the people's man extor extortion man through what fear you know, but by pushing what fables, paganism, lies, man, which the word word pagan means wanderer, man. So, you know, it's some foreign, it's some foreign entity that's not supposed to be being taught, man, through like, through the scriptures, man. It's some foreign body that's got nothing to do with the scriptures, man. It's just um filthy communications, as I said. But as a main point, when you click here, the G four one four nine, the root word of Plusios, you know it's taking too long to load as I said before uh, Satan's trying to be a hindrance man
But this word's already gone out, man. So, you know, there's no stopping. So, um, yeah, the Greek word is Plutos. So what does that sound like? That sounds like the Greco-Roman god Pluto, man. Which when you read up on him, he was the god of the underworld and, the, and represented the god of wealth. Because wealth comes from the ground, man. And the brothers was, as I said, discoursing this the other week, last week at the camp. This is riches, um, Pluto. This is riches, wealth, abundance of external possessions, fullness, abundance, plenty, plenty, tide, plenty, plenty, plenitude, like a, a good, i.e., that which, um, that with one, which one is enriched. And I said you get rich from the earth, man. And when you read up on Pluto, as I said, he was the, um, the Roman version of the Greek god Hades, man. The god of the underworld, and he was the god of wealth, man. And Hades represented that same thing. So I'm gonna read that up, read up on that real quick. So you got you got to watch these guys out here, man. When they start pushing away with doctrines, and you got to think why, man. Why all of a sudden you're pushing this hell doctrine? You brothers weren't teaching that shit before, you know. But people are gonna keep coming with these weird, wayward um, wayward talks. Um, you know, as uh, to be stumbling blocks in this truth, man. And for the Lord, and for the Lord to pour out that judgment on the two thirds, man, these false teachers out here, these charlatans, man, you know, these fake judges, and he even says it here in the bold mythology, and for the word Pluto, man, it says mythology, man, next to it, man, because this is a complete lie, man, it's 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 fiction, man, it's not fact. It says Pluto was the ruler of the underworld in classical mythology. The early earlier name for the god was Hades from Greek mythology. It says, which became more common as the name of the underworld itself. It says, in ancient Greek religion and mythology, Pluto represents a more positive concept of the god who presides over the afterlife. It says, Pluton was frequently conflated with Plutos, which we read from one of the um, the Strong's in um, Luke's, Luke, Luke, 60, um, Luke 6 and 24th chapter, the 24th verse. It says Plutos, see, it says Plutus, it says a god of wealth, it says because a mineral was found, un- because mineral we- wealth was found underground, so as I said man, that's what that shit represents man, because you get everything from the earth man, all your minerals and resources, even in the stock markets today where they're trading the commodities and all that, gold gold and silver and all these things, these things come from the earth man, that's where you get the, the mineral wealth from man, that's how you're supposed to rule. From uh, and get all your your riches from the wealth from the earth, you know. This is what's found underground. It says and because, um, as a, symph- symph- symphonic, um, God Pluto ruled the deep earth that contained the seeds necessary for bountiful harvest. So see, that's what that all that hell doctrine, all that shit was all about, man. As I said, it's a money making scheme, and that's why they pushed that in the first place, man. So you gotta be you gotta be, you know, careful when you come across these guys talking about this madness. Shit that you, you know was never taught by the apostles, man. You know, just start teaching lies for filthy lucre's sake, man. You gotta beware these these um, wolves in sheep's clothing, man. Because more and more, and especially now, they're gonna be coming out. And the Lord warned us in these last days that this was gonna happen, man. And you're seeing it before, right before your eyes. These charlatan shade nigger nigger wearing um niggers, man. These nigglets that need to be put out, their mouths need to be stopped. Lord willing, I'll read that scripture, man. I'll read one or two scriptures and just close up. I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to raise the point because I came across this video. Um, damn, man, this phone's crashing on all sorts. Uh, Let's read one, two scriptures and then close out, man. Because this phone's getting all hot and shit. Satan's just trying to mess around right now. So Second Peter's um two and one. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there were, shall be false teachers among you. It says who privily shall bring in damnable heresies I and mean, lies, man. Damnable lies, man. Lies that you need to be put to death for, man. Filthy communication, man. It says, even denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Verse 2 it says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. So if you follow these clowns and these the, 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 the wayward doctrines, man, 
then that obviously the Lord don't want you, man. The Lord said he'll send strong delusions amongst his people for the followers that he doesn't want, man. So called followers, man. You know? Because not all the all, not all the sheep are the Lord man or, or the Lord's man. He's only looking for his elect. You know, not all Israel is of Israel, man. As you can plainly see. And many are gonna follow the pernicious ways because of the the way they look, you know, the, the way they talk, you know, and their false doctrines, man. Because they make things sound sweet. You know, even when it's a bunch of BS. And it's got nothing to do with the scriptures, man. You know, it says, um, so these niggas is really a curse, like it says in the book of Galatians, man. Spewing these, um, these, these wayward lies, man. It says, by reason of whom the truth, or, or the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. It says, and through covetousness shall they, with feigned words, make merchandise of you. It says, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. So these niggas are going to get put out very soon, man. They may think they're you know, going to carry on spewing their madness, making merchandise of the people, whatever they want to do, man. Whether they're doing it blindly or, not, or unknowingly, you know. Or maybe because they just actually believe in that hell doctrine, I don't know. But whatever reason, man, the Lord ain't dealing with these clowns anyway, and he's, he's definitely showing that. And he's definitely going to destroy these niggas, man. For those niggas that don't want to repent and come out of this madness, man, and teach the right way. You know what? How they're supposed to be taught. And um, this um, this last scripture I'm gonna read and close out. It says Titus one, and I'll start from seven. So for a bishop must be blameless. It says and a steward of the Most High, not not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, not sh no stricker, um, not sh no striker, slacker, and not given to filthy lucre man so you can't be doing this for your own vain glory man you're supposed to be a man of the lord you're going to be teaching lewd lewd wayward doctrines just for your own pockets man you, you niggas going to be put to death man you're going to die with your, um, your, your your pockets man you know for looking fat you niggas going to die the horrible and gr grievous deaths man you and your damn family man you know it says but a love of hospitality a love of good men Sober, just, holy, temperate, man. Balanced, man. You niggas ain't balanced, man. Teaching that there's a hell underneath the earth and all this, man, or in the spirit realm. That ain't temperate, man. That ain't being balanced, man. It says holding fast, man. Not not, loose, not, not, not letting go and spewing your own madness. It says holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught. So the apostles didn't teach about no hell doctrine, man. They already told you what hell represents. It represents the grave from the Hebrew Shawal or Sheol, some brothers say. And um, it represents a, a low state of um, a condition on earth, man. As brothers say, say the term hell on earth, even though that the Mob Deep niggas had an album called Hell on Earth, if I'm not mistaken. It's a condition on earth, man. Just like they say heaven on earth. That's a condition. But it is an actual spiritual realm. But there is no, there is no hell, man. That's this madness, man. The spirit goes back to the father of spirits. It's even in the scriptures. The scripture says that the most high is the father of spirits, man. So you're just disrespecting the whole the whole doctrine of the Lord, man. Idiots, man. And says that he may be able by sound doctrine, not wayward doctrine, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. So for there are many unruly and vain talkers, man, talking shit and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision says whose mouths whose mouths must be stopped and the lord is going to stop your mouths man by us spiritually um, getting and rebuking you niggas out there you know rebuking you false teachers out there and physically when the lord manifests that judgment man the either martial law when all hell breaks loose or the nuclear missile is going to touch your asses man and that's when you're going to get that's when your mouths are going to be truly stopped it says who subvert whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake so you're teaching things which you ought not fulfill for lucre's sake. And I, I told you what that whole, whole hell doctrine goes back to what? It's a money-making scheme, man. You know, going back to the dark ages and and, and and so on and so forth, man. That's that whole hell doctrine was about. Pluto's Pluto, the god of wealth, the god of the underworld, man. A.K.A. Hades, man. So that's what that whole hell doctrine represents. So that's why these niggas push that shit, man, because they want to make that money. But the Lord's got something better for you. It's called an ICBM missile, man. You know, 
And um, that's definitely going to touch surfaces on your asses very soon, man, in the near coming future. You know, Baba Kusha. But anyway, I'm going to close out. As I said, I didn't want to make the video too long. Florence playing around and all that. You know, got through it, Lord willing, and all that. So, um, give all praises and glory to you. How about Shemi Shai? And double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Blessings unto the sincere Akim out there, man. Stay strong. And, um, hope brothers was edified. Until next time, I say Shalom.